One of the strangest particles in nature and the hardest to study is the neutrino. Vast numbers of neutrinos arrive at the Earth every second, from the Sun and other parts of the cosmos. But most of them pass clean through our planet, as if it weren't there. The very weak interaction of neutrinos with other particles makes them extremely hard to detect, and because of this, they're the least well-studied particles in the standard model of particle physics. Particle colliders in which two beams of particles, such as protons, are smashed together at high energies produce huge quantities of neutrinos, but not a single one of them had ever been detected until now. Two large research collaborations called FASA, or Forward Search Experiment, and SND, Scattering and Neutrino Detector, have observed collider neutrinos for the first time using detectors at the Large Hadron Collider. The FASA collaboration is a large research effort set up with the goal of observing light and weakly interacting particles. It was the first research group to observe neutrinos at the LHC, using the phaser detector which is positioned over 400 meters away from the giant ATLAS experiment in a separate tunnel. Phaser and SND observe neutrinos produced in the same interaction region inside the LHC as ATLAS. Shortly after Phaser reported the first observation of collider neutrinos, the SND collaboration finalized its analysis with eight additional events in the LHC involving neutrinos. The SND experiment was specifically established to detect neutrinos using a two meter long detector placed at a site in the LHC where the flux of neutrinos is high but shielded from proton collision debris by about a hundred meters of concrete and rock. The observation of collider neutrinos opens the door to novel measurements which will help us understand some of the fundamental puzzles of the standard model, such as why there are three generations of matter particles or fermions that seem to be copies of each other in every respect except for their mass. These recent studies by the Phaser and SND groups contribute significantly to ongoing particle physics research and could soon pave the way for further breakthroughs. Now that the presence of neutrinos at the LHC has been confirmed, these two experiments will continue collecting data, potentially leading to more meaningful observations. The phaser detector will run for many more years and is expected to collect at least 10 times more data. The initial discovery used only part of the detector. In the coming years, the full power of phaser will be deployed to map out neutrino interactions in fine detail. In addition, work is progressing on the Forward Physics Facility, a proposal to build a new underground cavern at the LHC, which will allow the detection of millions of high-energy neutrinos as well as a search for milli-charged particles and other phenomena associated with dark matter. <laughs>